Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This afternoon I had to uh, run some errands and I thought why not grab a car off the forecourt and let you know what I think about it, as if I'm some font of knowledge. I'm really not. Uh, but what I decided to grab was a 2017 Mercedes A-Class. This one's the A200D, uh, so it's a 2.1 diesel and it is an automatic. And it's the AMG line plus, potentially even. Um, I guess the whole point of the video is, should you buy one? Yes. And not, it's not not just that simple, but what do I think of the A-Class? Um, as I say, I'm not an expert on, on Mercedes or really cars in general. Uh, all I can say is I buy and sell two or three hundred of them a year, so I do have quite a bit of experience behind the wheel at least and dealing with the issues that come with them. Um, so, yeah, the A-Class for me is take it or leave it really I do think Mercedes have done an absolutely awesome job on the styling taking what the old A-Class was a little block of Swiss cheese that your nan drove around in uh, to a smart kind of stylish sexy hatchback you know they, they really obviously spent a lot of time uh, developing and deciding that uh, Mercedes needed Kind of sexy hatchback to compete with the competition because I'm not really sure they had one. Um, so yeah, they did loads of cool styling. They made it look much smarter than the old uh, A-Class. And yeah, did things like adverts with Kano the rapper in, uh, things like that. And made the A.5 AMG. So thank God they did that because you know that's an awesome car. Um, so my experience basically extends to the diesel version, so I can't say too much about like the A250s, etc. I know there are some kind of sportier versions, but for the purpose of this video, I'm covering the diesels, which I think the majority of them are out there, and probably the majority of people will want. I don't think I would want to buy this car in a 1.6 petrol. Um, you know, 1.5 diesel, turbo diesel, that is. It's, you know, it's slow enough, it's painfully slow. Um, so we're covering the diesels. If it were me, if I were to buy one of these for myself, it would have to be the 2.1, as I've already covered, the 1.5 DCI, a Renault engine. It's, it is painfully slow really, but then it all depends on what you need because it is incredibly economic as well. I mean, the half in fact drives one, um, and I think she gets 18, 80 miles per gallon and she's a speed demon, so. Um, if that is what you need, and you're doing lots of motorway miles, etc., then great. Otherwise, just feel like you've actually got some power and you're going to get somewhere. 2.1 for me. And it would also have to be the automatic. Um, the manual gearbox, there's nothing particularly I could say wrong with it other than the weird lift to reverse, which always catches me out and just annoys me because I'm irritable. The other thing, um, benefit with having automatic is it's going to operate the electric handbrake for you automatically and again it's just something that irritates the hell out of me I can never get my head around it because it's if they've tried to kind of replace the old Mercedes style where you had a foot pedal that you would click the handbrake on and then you had a release handle here but still it should be straightforward it's pull to release and then you push the same button back in to put it on uh, and I forever am trying to like push it and go to reverse away and you can't and yeah, that's that's a kind of bugbear for me. But it's it's if you're driving this car every day, you're gonna you're gonna get to terms with that, and it's probably not gonna annoy you. Um, if you are gonna buy one, it has got to be, in my opinion, the AMG line. Um, so that's not anything to do with the engine. That's just the trim options, etc. So we're talking about having nice alloy wheels, some body styling, uh, nicer interiors, nicer seats. Um, I'm not entirely sure what comes to standard, but you're more likely to have heated seats, things like a panoramic roof. Of course, that is an optional extra, but I don't think I've ever seen an SE or a Sport with things like the panoramic roof, etc., etc. Um, you hope it's going to come with a sat nav like this one does, and not just you know sat nav ready. Uh, it's also going to really help you out when it comes to selling it. If I had two cars in stock, one was an AMG line, and one was let's say a Sport even with alloys and things, 
the AMG line is going to sell 10 times over before the Sport does. So just bear that in mind. You might seem, you know, see one and think it's cheaper and that might be great value. Yeah. If it suits your needs and you can factor in the cost of that, that's fine. Just consider that if you are going to sell it, it's not going to be as popular as the AMG line. If there are other two options out there, which one is most people are likely to want to choose, especially in a second-hand market where the prices may not be so hugely different as they were uh, at the factory. Um, what else can I say? Is it a practical car? Of course, they're, you know, five-door hatchback, um, reasonable size boot, it's not the biggest. I guess the real question you're thinking about with practicality is can you fit a full-size poodle in the boot? Yes, you can. Uh, problem solved. Buy the car. Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> Senora! Where am I? I want more feed. Uh. Okay. Excuse the sweat, Erin's done. Uh, uh, moving a horse box and helping the girlfriend load a crazy Spanish horse, uh, which is kind of the only horsepower that really scares me. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? So yeah, should you buy the uh, Mercedes A-Class? If you're after a hatchback, uh, you know, like a premium hatchback with nice finishes, nice features, etc., then yeah, absolutely. I mean, get one, but make sure you get the, as I said before, the AMG line. Um, at the end of the day, why else would you get one to have a basic one? I've never understood buying a basic version of a premium car. Um, if you can, my recommendation would be to get the automatic. If you need economy, then the 1.5 DCI engine's fine. To be fair, all of their uh, diesel engines, until you get to about a three litre where they do a six cylinder, they sound pretty agricultural. Um, but that's only if you're putting your foot down hard. So if you're just looking for something to drive as a normal driver, then uh, and maybe engine noise is not gonna bother you anyway. Um, so yeah, I guess, I don't even know if they do an automatic in the 1.5. If they did, then maybe that would be my choice for economy. Um, I think they all come with a nice reversing camera. Sat nav, nice to have, but I don't know who really uses it. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like for a quick rant, I didn't really prepare this at all. Uh, I've covered most things I can think of, but if there's anything you want to know about, uh, oh. um, anyway, so I think that's covered most things I can think of when it comes to the Mercedes A-Class. Um, but of course, if you do have any questions, I've owned these different engines, different gearboxes, different colors, models, whatever. Um, feel free to ask me a question. If I've got the answer, I will let you know. If not, I'll let you know. I haven't got the answer. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to try. I'm really trying to make, do these more regularly, find the time to do it. So um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe, because I will be doing more. And I'll see you in the next video.